soak the stick the day before but as a general rule when you are either boiling the wood or steaming it you should at least give it one hour for every inch of thickness of the wood and of course no hot sauce is needed Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end but we'll see it through So now that the wood is dry, we can start making the headband. the coconut onto a piece of MDF so I can start making the ear pads. In the end I made them a little bit less wide so they fit all around my ears instead of on my ears. That's the way to do it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here I'm making a thread into the coconut. And the other piece I'm just making a little bit bigger so it can move uh, like this. I bought these tiny hinges that is put on with tiny little M2 bolts made out of brass. And here I'm just cutting the holes a little bit smaller so I can make a thread into the wood. They look large here but they are tiny. This is a part of the cantilever suspension I'm gluing on. After this I fumed it way too long and the hinges were gone and all of the AC glue was gone. So actually I did all of this once again just with the epoxy instead. I could see that the only things that wasn't the salt was the pieces I have glued with epoxy. Like this right here. So here I'm making the ear cushions. They're made out of acoustic foam. And I found out that this uh, finger sander here is actually the easiest way to shape it really nice instead of make using scissors or knife. have to make sacrifices to make headphones. I wish I knew.
And there's an ear cushion for you right there. And here I am assembling one of the sides of the coconut, making it airtight, maybe. And some stuffing. I used uh, quite a bit of time to make these fit exactly. First, I made it the, the exact same shape at the, as the eyes outside. And then I just made it smaller and made little adjustments so it fits perfectly. And as you can see, I made a funnel out of acoustic foam to put inside. And as a barrier, I used these old speaker grills here. As you can see, all the wood is fumed now. It has this dark, beautiful color. And it's time for a assembly. The wires I'm using are RCA cables. It was what I had lying around in the shed. a bit of head scratching I figured out that this way of wiring would have the best longevity of the cables I thought it would be irritating to have a wire coming out of each side of the coconut so I decided to make it this way so you have a female jack in one of the headphones in the right side actually and you don't have these coming down from both sides and these are Danish coins as a decorative mounting plate. These are black M4 bolts with a hexagon. Adjusting the wire so the headphone can move. So, headphone drivers. I bought four different kinds. I bought a pair of these monocores and some Daytons and two pairs, different pairs of variation. And I tested them all, listened to them, and they all lacked ba bass. But these had a little bit more bass, so I decided on these ones. But I would not recommend them, and I am looking to changing them out in the future for some high-end ones. Or maybe that's something I don't know. Maybe they have to be equalized or have a, a proper crossover to make them perform. This is the first pair of headphones I ever made, so do comment if you know something I don't. All of the drivers I tested were 8 ohms.
soldering as the tip is the left plus and the middle ring is the right plus and the lower ring is a minus for both of them. Here I'm starting on the cantilever suspension with the RC springs. It took some time to adjust, so it had just that right amount of push against the head. And the downfall of this design is it is made for me. And if my children uh, are borrowing in the, these headphones, it, they won't really fit them. I do like exploring, making things how they weren't made before. So. That's why I went this route. the last little piece of the headphone it is these cushions for the headband that makes the right height for the ears of my head and makes it so they rest very lightly on the head and the air can the hair can breathe you know and they are not coming off so i learned a lot by doing these and uh, i hope uh, you learned something from my mistakes too by watching and here's a shopping list and thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time on Must Build Something.